Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a really fun look. You may have noticed me wearing this headscarf in a previous video. Um, I make these and I really, really, oh, whoa, <laughs> I make these and I really enjoy wearing these um, sort of headscarves, they're quite 1940s and um, I thought maybe you wanted me to, if you, let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on how to make them and how to wear them, put them in, etc. Um, I'd be really happy to do that. Um, but I'm going to do a look inspired by this headband. I'm going to do for like a 1940s housewife look with a sort of red lip and winged liner. But I'm going to bring up to date, make it the classic but with a sort of modern twist to it by adding in some extra touches. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get going. Okay, so for the base, I'm going to be using Revlon Photo Ready Foundation, and I'm in the shade Vanilla, number two, um, and then my Makeup Forever HD Foundation mixed with it. You might, If you've watched my other videos, you probably know that I'm really enjoying this combination of foundation at the moment. So I sort of do half a pump of each, and I'm applying this with a Real Techniques stippling brush, which is probably my favourite brush of the moment. It just gives you such a good finish to your skin and um, really flawless but really natural looking at the same time. I find that the buffing brush from Real Techniques, which is the other one that's one of my favourites, it gives you totally flawless skin but at the same time it doesn't look as natural because it does block out all the colour of your natural skin tone. Then, as per usual, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW15. Um, today I'm going to be putting this on with a Gemma Kid Flat Top Foundation brush. I'm a really, really big fan of this brush. I've used this forever um, and it just really buffs the concealer onto your skin, getting rid of all those blemishes. I'm so spotty at the moment. I don't know what is going on. Must be the Chris must be Christmas. Must be Easter and all the chocolate. For under the eyes though, I'm going to be using this Eco Tools brush. I think it's just a fluffy blending brush, but I like to use it underneath my eyes because it's, it's quite good for that sort of small area. Then for blush, I'm going to be using from my amazing palette, Burning and Water palette. I mean, can you see that? I hope this is working. The eye blinks on it. I can't believe how amazing it is. Um, and I've been using this blush loads lately. It's this pink sort of cream blush here and it's so gorgeous but I'm trying to not use too much because I don't want it to run out. <laughs> and it goes on quite bright but you just blend it in with your finger. You can use a brush but I find that your finger works best with this product. I'm trying to use quite a ready pink for this to for the blush to sort of show that sort of English rose look but definitely to link in with the red lip that we're going to be doing later. Because the lips are sort of the main part of this look this is when you want to moisturise your lips and make sure they're nice and smooth so that you've got some time for the lip balm to sink into your lips. Um, today I'm going to be using my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour, eight hour cream lip balm in a sort of stick, lipstick looking thing um, and it's not particularly attractive, it's orange but literally if you have not got this or tried this go out and get it, I recommend it so much because it basically is the Elizabeth Al uh, uh, ugh, I can't speak, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream that comes in the tube in a lipstick form yes yeah, so you can just bang this on, it doesn't have any colour and voila and just let that sink in while you do the rest of your makeup. And yeah, so next step is the eyes. For this 1940s look, we're going to start off by using some eyeshadow. And I'm trying to use as little as possible on this look because it's really not about the eyeshadow, it's about the eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Bellissima um, palette from NARS, um, this duo. I use this all the time if you watch my videos. Um, and I'm using this brown sort of neutral shade. Um, and I'm trying to really enhance the natural socket as opposed to actually applying more colour. I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush so I'm just going to pop this through the socket oh let me zoom in hold on really lightly blend this through nice fluffy sort of light movements to really blend this out 
You want to blend it past the socket upward, but just to make it blend smoothly so you've got no harsh lines. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows in the same shade. Use a bit of highlight in the top of the brow bone. I'm going to be using vanilla, this shade here, from my Urban Decay palette. I'm just going to take a small amount on this on a flat, flat brush like this. And I'm just going to press it through. Just to add some dimension to your eye. Okay, so for the 1940s housewife look, you really need your black liner sort of winged out and for that I'm going to be using black ink from Bobbi Brown this is the darkest shade of their gel liner on a really fine brush like this and with gel liner it's always best to start with a thin line and build up so that you can decide on the thickness you want um, because I'm going for a modern take on this I'm going to go for quite a thick line with quite a big wing but if you're not looking for that then definitely just go with what you feel comfortable doing taking it right into the inside of the eye. And when you wing it out, um, what's really important to do is follow your bottom lid and see what line, if it carried on, what angle would it go at? And that's the angle you want to do your wing at. Next we're going to be doing mascara and I'm going to be using my Dior Show Extase mascara that I use all the time, love this. So I've left the bottom lashes clear of mascara but I'm going to be using fake lashes on the top lid um, and I'm going to be using these ones um, and I got them in Boots but I can't remember the brand. The packaging's like this, it's like triangular. So I can't remember what they're called, but then they're number 105s and they look like this. They're really gorgeous, quite natural lights because they're sort of fine lashes. So pop them on in the middle and then adjust them from the sides. Okay, so the lashes are on and now we're just going to do the final step of lipstick and I'm going to start off by doing red lip liner and this is just a cryon and theatre cosmetic I think it's number it doesn't say but it's kind of like a pinky red and I'm just going to line my lips with this My top lip doesn't have a very big cupid's bow, so I like to extend it up slightly sometimes. Then you're just going to fill in your lips with the liner. Go in with Diva Red from Rimmel London, and it's such a bright red. Like so. Ooh. Um, and just using any lip brush. So you just put some on. Probably look really cross-eyed right now. And just keep building up the colour until you're happy with how red it is. So this is the finished look and I hope you like it. So it's just a really bright lip with a big wind liner. And that's why I think it's really easy to wear on our night out because it's quite dramatic. So it's quite daring for the daytime. Um, but at the same time it's so easily achievable because so few eyeshadows and it's just grab a few things and get out the door. You can do it really quickly and easily. Um, and yeah, let me know again, as I said before, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to make these headbands or headscarves um, and how to put them in because it's really easy and it, it makes it look like you've made a big effort with your hair but really you've just thrown up in a bun and then just tied this thing around it but it looks really like smart and like you've put loads of effort in which is always something good when you're <laughs> feeling a bit lazy or late um, so yeah thank you for watching and let me know if you want me to make any other videos requests anything like that um, and hopefully I'll see you soon all right guys see you soon bye